<laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you know there was that one dog, and he was uh, barking at me. <laughs> you, you get it? You, barking. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No no no! It's coming! Run for your lives! Run. Oh, oh, who? He's gone. That was a close one. Give Birchie a like for this beautiful birch house because it's not a resource that people usually use but I tried something out and I figured out that we can make this beautiful little house that is right here using some um, oak stairs slabs some cobblestone some walls um, a birch fence uh, birch wooden stairs obviously some trap doors uh, birch wood a door uh, the cobwebs are not really needed but if you want to add those little details there you can add them some flowers so two different flowers to um, match the walls and obviously dirt for the pots that are right here so the walls are really easy to build uh, apart from the roof because it's a little bit more tricky you just need to take some uh, birch wood and then you place them like this with one gap in between one in the corner up one up and then you do exactly the same here so one uh, diagonally uh, away and then you just build them like with one gap in between and you do exactly the same here so it will be a symmetrical shape so you'll get one block here as well so once it is done you can build them like three up of them so no one lower or higher so don't worry about it there we go and then take the birchwood stairs make them face this way on this side and then place one like this one like this then for the door obviously you place one like that then you can go ahead and take one gravel or anything you would like but and then obviously a door so you can go ahead and place one piece of gravel here to make things easier and then go around um, here we'll play a little bit around so you can place one like that and one like that and one like that and one like that so it doesn't really matter for the bottom one because we'll place some dirt afterwards so don't worry about that and then obviously you can place a slab or a full block but place whatever facing this way as long as this gap is like uh, filled in then you do exactly the same here so you place one like this and one like this and one on the outside once again and one like that that's it and then for the window pretty easy you just place a um, you just place them like this take the birch fence and place them like that and on the side we'll build another door so we can go ahead and take the gravel once again like that and boom place on the inside once again and then for the door once again you do exactly the same so you place it like this and then we will build another window but this time we'll place it like this you make it a little bit different and that's it for the window so we got our wall going and now let's move on to the tricky part which is the roof now let's get to the tricky part so take some wooden stairs place one upside down one like that one like that and you do exactly the same on the other side so one like that one like that and one upside down then you take the awkward slabs place one here one here just like that and you do exactly the same here so one here one here then take the uh, awkward stairs, place one here, one here, go until the middle, so the middle I mean by this line. And then all you need to make is like a little cross, just like that, going until this log, so don't stop until here. Do exactly the same here, so go around until you meet this one, and this is exactly the same, so go until this log. And once again, the last one, oh. just like that. So you should get something like this. Once that is done, you can go ahead and take the awkward slabs. You can place one here. Then you need to go all across like that. One more here. And then all you need basically to do is build one more hop. 
and then finish the shape like this so you get the sides like that then do exactly the same here so one cross and one more there we go and one one and then finish the shape there we go and do exactly the same here as well so one 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 here cross like that and then on this level and then the last one once again so one here two here and one here time set zero thank you and there we go so we should get something like this once that is done you can go ahead and place one here one here and then place one here do the same on the other side so oh one here one here one here all right so now comes the tricky part you can take a slab and place one here take these stairs and you can go all across until here and do the same exactly the same on the other side so one here one here one here one here just like that and on the shorter side of the building so in the width you can take these stairs place one here one here and basically all you need to do right now is take these slabs or four blocks or your slabs for now and you can fill in the whole gap until that is done then you take a slab here slab here two blocks here one rejoining this part just like that and place one more block here once that is done you can go ahead and take these slabs and place them one two here one two here one two here and one two here until you get that shape so it should look like this and that should be it so then take the birch fence place one here one here one here and one here that is it and for the wall i forgot this one two birch fence ready so for the side of the house you can go ahead and remove this block on this side of the house and then place one cobblestone and then two cobblestone walls then you can go ahead and take the cobwebs and you can place them in a way however you would like but you don't need to use them but i think that it's looking just a little bit better if i do so there we go two cobwebs and then go to the side of the house take some trap doors and some uh, grass block and two flowers so this one and i'll take this one and you can go to the side where there's no door so it will be this side on the other house so there we go we can go ahead and place three blocks trap door trap door trap door trap door and one flower i usually place this one in the middle so there we go and i forgot the other one there we go and place them like this so it really fits for the building in my opinion the white flowers all right so for the inside you'll need all those items that are right here on the ground so some carpet the stairs and stuff and the chest obviously flower pot brings 10 a bed uh, the ender rod if you can get your ends on it um, a furnace and then some walls so we'll start with a bed so i got all my items in my toolbar right here once that is done you can take the bed and place it right here and then you can take a, a normal crafting table place it right beside it right here times at zero and then you can go ahead and take a awkward stair um place it upside down like that then you can take the white carpet place it right on top of it by shifting and then take the flower pot right here and place the flower pot right here once that is done you can take the bookshelves which i didn't take yet oh i did i'm blind sometimes you can go ahead and take the bookshelves place them like this and going all until all the way up until you uh, finally reach this part you can go ahead and take some um, birch wooden stairs place them upside down like this quite a clear thank you take the end rod place it right here 
Then take one single piece of carpet, grey carpet, once again place it on top of it. Take awkward stairs, jump once, that's how I do it. Take these signs and then place them all around, so place, enter, done, yeah, done, done, and done. So you'll get that little table right here, then take a flower pot, place right here, brewing stand, take some more bookshelves right here, and place the brewing stand right here. Once that is done, you can take the furnace, place it here, and then take the cobblestone walls. It should rejoin with the thing that you placed earlier right there. Once that is done, you can take the um, the wooden stairs, place one like this going this way, the other one the same, one slab, place like here, take a chest, place it here and place the light grey carpet as the remaining spots. So you can place some more chests here if you want to and then take the paintings, which are here. And you can go ahead and replace it until you get like one going two up, which is not working at the moment. One here and one here. And that is it. Once that is done, you can go ahead and take the red carpet as a welcome mat and you can place it right here. The last step for the inside is you can play around with the stairs and the birchwood slabs. You can place one stair here, you can place one stair here, one, uh, one slab here, one slab here, and then uh, basically one stair, no, four block here, let's say a four block, slab, slab, four block, slab, slab, and then go around the chimney just like that, there we go, and then place once again a four block here to finish this up, and then slab, stair and slab and full block until you get this so that the inside is finished and you can go ahead and live in your house once that is done you can do the last step which is taking some fences that's all up to you and some gravel for the outside and you can I just can to replace this you can, uh, however you would like to, you could like place some uh, gravel outside and some fence in a random way. So I will make do it real quick for you to give you an example. But there's not really a way to do it. All you need to do is basically just place them like randomly and make some different shapes like this. And then one here basically, one here. One area. So it doesn't really matter uh, as long as you get like a little fancy entry just like that. As you can see I did it differently there. And then you can take the gravel, place one here and then once again just do it randomly. Just like that. So let's say two here and two more here. So you get like a little path going to your house and you can do exactly the same on this part so let's say one here one here and then one two just like that going to the front until that and that will be it that will be it for today's tutorial i uh, will give you a quick show around once again how it looks like it should be like this so don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new if you haven't already done it and until the next time, goodbye guys and stay awesome.